How's it going guys, Chaos Prime here and today I wanted to go over the customization options in terms of glamour, what's available, what's not, how flamboyant these can be and so forth. It seems to be a question and discussion constantly popping up in my comment section so I wanted to make a video going over said options to give you all an insight into this. If you find this useful a like rating would be awesome, it not only helps the video but also helps the channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to share. If you want to do any form of customization in Anthem, the Forge is the home you're looking for. And seeing as all DLC is free in Anthem, microtransactions are the way it plans on making money. So naturally we can expect something a little more complex and maybe even Warframe like when it comes to customization as a whole. So the customization is split into 8 sections, helmet, arms, legs, chest as the core of the customization. Then we have paint, vinyls, wear state and animations. The helmet, arms, legs and chest will change the silhouette appearance of the javelin itself. The animations will be for landing and victory poses and emos. Paint is self-explained and wear state is for the physical wear appearance. The distinction they give is rather confusing at the beginning but as this video goes on this will become more and more apparent and make more sense to you all. As you can see, just in paint the options are extremely vast in terms of what you can do from design of the paint to design and style. You have a total of 6 points in which you can manipulate the colour and these all add a layer of creativity. Some are metallic, material, pattern and more. Of course a disclaimer was made immediately that some of this will be locked behind unlockable content, microtransactions and other sources. So don't expect everything you see here in the list to be available day one and don't expect everything to be free. This will be where they make their money after all. However, you can see the options are vast, especially in the realm of colours where you have palettes to create your own colour templates. This is all pretty awesome stuff and adds an extra layer of creativity for us to customise our own javelins to the way we like it, much like in the Warframe. Set schemes will have set palettes of colour available to them and sadly for now, though it seems it's now on the cards to be added at some point, a randomizer for colour is not available but it will be added again much like we see in Warframe. For the custom designs you create, you will naturally want to save these and Anthem has you covered here as well. Currently only 5 loadouts per javelin can be saved, but this is subject to change and possibly increase as they get closer to the release candidate of the game. Maybe even add in extra slots through microtransactions. I'm not sure, after all, this is pretty much just a glamour base. As previously stated in a tweet, weapons and gear you pick up have no customizability for launch, but this will change post launch at some time as it's something they are looking into as it is a very popular request adding skins and the like to weapons. At the base level each javelin has a base level model. These are the foundations for the javelins that will not change. The helmet, arms, legs and chest attachments are essentially tacked on pieces to the suit itself. Like armor plates, they do not alter the javelin appearance itself as you can see here without the Legion of Dawn set on and then the Legion of Dawn set equipped. It's really not that different but after some crafted customizations it can make a difference. Some overlays do make it a bit more bulky but yeah essentially it's not flamboyant enough to change the entire appearance as some are asking for with horns and spikes sticking out and stuff like this. The main silhouette still remains despite the attachments. They did go through all the other three javelins as you're seeing on screen right now and these were created earlier to give you an indication of what they can look like and though it's fine it's nothing crazy which again I'm fine with but hopefully in the future we'll get to see more flamboyant designs and flamboyant options. Even if it is microtransaction only, at this point it's only glamour. It's only vanity that this is for. It is for nothing else, so there is no pay to win here. I repeat, there is no pay to win here. This is literally just personalization of making your frame look the way you want it to look. The wear state is pretty much what it says on the tint, it affects the actual wear state of the exosuit itself, whether or not it's actually clean or beat up or worn etc. So th there's not much here to explain, there's a limited set of options, they didn't state if there's going to be more options as it goes along, but I do believe that this is a self-contained unit in itself so time will tell. Next we move on to vinyls. Vinyls are going to change the layer appearance, sadly there is no option at launch and no immediate plans for a custom vinyl upload for the community to use. So custom logos are not going to be a thing or possible. The vinyls are global however and once unlocked 
on one will be unlocked for all javelins, which is a nice touch and reduces said grind that bit more. I mean, no one likes to grind the same thing over and over again, right? Who even does that? Vinyls are essentially the finishing touch. They are static and cannot be manipulated in color schemes or any other way. They are static and stand alone and work on all javelins to ensure the design is kept working and consistent. Finally, they show emotes. The victory and landing poses were not working as of the stream. However, the emotes were, even if they had placeholder images. They were nothing special as you can see on screen right now, but I'm sure many of these will be in the store to unlock again, which I'm fine with cause simply put, they need to bring in revenue from somewhere to continue working on Anthem and bringing us said content. And that's my video for personalization. I hope this clears up any confusions or questions you may have had and made it clear exactly how it works and what to expect when you finally get your hands on it. Until the next video, which will be on builds, I'm going to be going through the build that they showed on stream and tell you how it synergizes. I did touch on this in a video before, but I do want to go into this a little more depth and give you guys a better understanding of just how powerful the synergizing in this game actually is. So until that video, remain legend.